What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about helium and um, the different types of antennas and different cables. And uh, today, yeah, we're going to be talking about the antennas and different setups and different ways how you can maximize your helium profitability and maximizing and how to get potentially more witnesses to your helium hotspot. <clears throat> yeah. So, okay, so this antenna right here, this is the one that came with the uh, with the minted gold spot miner. This is the factory antenna. I believe this is a uh, 2.3 dBi. And uh you know, it's it's okay, but um you know, you obviously want more. And the great thing about this helium is that you can tinker, you can modify, you could do certain things where you can get more helium. So, you know, this little antenna is good, but, you know, everything has its purpose, but, you know, we want to maximize. So, yeah, this is there's a 2.3 stock antenna, and it's, it's good. It's good for its purpose. But um, but even with something like this, right? You see how it's stock; it bolts up right to the to the miner like that. You know, let's say if that was the box, it would be like that. But a modification you can do is you can go online and you can buy a wire like this, where you can then you would screw this here, right? So you will screw this, this end to the wire, and then you will screw this. Let's say this is the miner right here. You will then screw this end onto the to the miner, and now you got yourself some extended range. So now you can put the antenna near the window if you couldn't do it before. You know, a wire like this. This is an essential tool to your helium mining, tweaking, and uh, you know, MacGyvering and stuff. And uh, check it out, it has the, it has the, it's an elbow, so it's got the bend. So certain, certain angles might work better, you know? And right here we got about, you know, two feet that we can get this either antenna now outside or in a better position or put it higher in the room and uh, maximize our helium profitability. That's one way how you can modify it. This is a, a factory upgrade, so to say, you know what I mean? Where you just modifying it. You just extended the range. You got more height. It's, it's outside, more visibility. It's a clean setup if you ask me, you know? Um, and then let's take this off. And then you can do the same the same setup with this antenna. This is the Bobcat. This is a 4 dBi antenna, factory antenna from the the Bobcat 300 helium miner. And uh again, you know, but this one are, you know, it's an upgrade. So if you were to put this into the factory box, that's already an upgrade because everybody comes with like 2 feet of cable. So that's already a plus and it has more DBI. So you might get a, a better coverage in whatever part of your city you might be. But now let's say if we wanted to modify this antenna, we come in with a little handy cable extender. We will connect this, connect this end into the miner, right? And now we now we extended, we got about four feet. You know, we could get maybe more witnesses, hit more beacons, get more challenges out there, and you know it's also try to get more HNT. You know, this is a another little connector. This one's good to have. This is the N-type connector. And uh, you need something like this so that you can put the uh, 
you know, like an aftermarket antenna. Like for example, like a McGill, 3 dBi, 6 dBi, you know, whatever type of antenna like that. Now, the idea with all this helium mining and all whatnot is that the higher you go, as far as height, you know, like a little skinny cable like this is not gonna cut it. You know, you wanna get the thickest cable and the short of, the shortest length possible. Reason being is because the longer the cable is, the 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 more DBIs you're gonna lose because you know that's the way how things work. But um, but a good upgrade, you know what I mean? Like this will be like considered, you know, like stock gauge. But a good upgrade will be the um, uh, the LMR four hundred from you know from uh, from Times Microwave Systems. You know, Miguel. And then you're gonna need a lightning arrester. You know what I mean? In case of there's an electrical surcharge or there's electricity in the air, you don't want any extra uh, electricity to, or surge back to go down the line and fry your crazy investment, you know, of your miner, you know? And this wire right here, this big, big, thick one, this is the Times Microwave. This is the LMR 600. Now this wire is 10 feet. And so is the LMR 400, it's 10 feet. But um, I probably won't need 20 feet for the setup that I'm gonna do because I'm trying to do some outdoor off the grid. So I'm trying to do the shortest possible. So I'm gonna take the LMR 600 and connect it with an LMR 400. I got a one foot cable. And that way it's still, you know, you know, a nice thick connectivity. And, uh, you know, you know, hoping for the best, but yeah. So the idea is to go, you know, the thickest cables, the shortest length, and you want to be as high as possible. So if you live in a place that, you know, like a high rise or like a, a high altitude above sea level, you got you got an advantage compared to most. Then after that, you just got to size up your antenna, figure out which one you may need. And then, you know, just set it out and let it sink. And then just mine, just mine HNT, you know, but, um, you know, I hope you guys liked this video. Hope you guys learned something. If you did, like, subscribe. And uh, if you guys would like to learn how to get a free helium miner, uh, I'm going to leave the uh, a link to another video where I'm going to do later on so you guys can see what's that all about. But um, like, subscribe, and share. Peace. See you guys on the inside.